All right, it's Antlion Alpha, and welcome back to Let's Play Banjo Kazooie as the Washing Machine. So let's get out of this area after we rudely interrupted Grunty, and we'll be fine. We'll be fine with our decision. So, how's it going? How are things in your neighborhoods? So yeah, I'm back. I just got back from a uh, move. It's a camp. It's a... Uh, it is a church camp, so I, I won't, like, talk too much about it, because I know, like... I, th I think I'm, like, the only Christian Let's Player out there. I, I really don't think there's any other ones, because, like, I've watched enough to... Here, hold on. These dragonflies right here, I don't know if I showed this off, but like, if you, if you kill them, if you kill them, doing the crocodile dance, okay, yeah, you'll get two honeycombs at once, or from each of them, but you won't get two if you kill this guy with the crocodile, if I can lure him over here, or if he'll come over here slowly on his own. Yeah, there we go. Just one honeycomb, so yeah. But, like, I've, I've watched enough Let's Players to realize that the majority of them just end up... What the hell? Why am I Why am I going that way? But the majority of them say, like, uh, like here's my agnostic point of view on the world, and I'm not going to get into religious stuff. And then I don't really get into religious stuff on my channel, but, like... And it's, I mean, it can be hard to even believe that I'm Christian when I say things like I did in the last segment, or in other segments, where I'm cussing up a storm, but I, I mean, I do make mistakes. I make mistakes as a religious person. So, but anyway, uh, so I won't get to talk too much about, like, the godly experience there, but I will say, like, I'll say one thing, how I I lost my wallet at the camp, it was, I don't want to say it was stolen, but like, it was in my room, I was rooming with uh, one of my friends, and he's like the nicest guy I know, he's like so friendly, and I, if he, if he became a thief, if he's the thief that stole my wallet, I'd be, I'd, like the world would like, turn on its axis in a direction that leads to destruction because like he, he 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 wouldn't do it trust me so but anyway he's a really nice guy and uh, I left my wallets like in my room that I was rooming with him in and we have keys we both have keys and we both lock it after we go and I, I always shook the handle to make sure it was locked so so nobody could get in, but I I remember I had it at night or in the morning, so and I didn't put it in my shorts in the morning that I after I last saw it, so I had it like in my suitcase. I had a flap over it. There's like this flap that divides the suitcase behind or between like the middle and the end. And so I it, it, I it, I didn't have it on me, so I, it's either, I don't know, I don't know, I mean, it seems like it would have to be stolen, because I, I know where I last saw it, and I know when I did and did not have it, so, this makes you think, but I mean, it's a Christian camp, so, one person, I found out on the last day that one person was, like, ha had to leave, because he was caught stealing things from other people, but, I mean, I'm not, I'm not that ups upset that I lost it, really. I mean, there was 80 bucks in it, my permit, and yeah, I still don't have my license, it's just a permit, and I had a, uh, I ripped out a, a, a paper picture of a giant squid from my geometry book, and I had that in the wallet, too, I, I, I really, I really don't know why, but that was in there, and... I mean, it's just, 
just money and stuff that can otherwise be replaced eventually. So I'm not I'm not gonna like dwell over. It. I I wasn't really that up I was surprised at how like not upset I was like even when I first realized that my wallet was gone and probably wouldn't be found because I just kind of like panicked a little bit and then I just went and talked to people and we played cards and just kind of went about the day and we laughed and played and it just wasn't that big of a deal really and it still really isn't I mean I if I <sighs> snowballs but if I can like have this attitude I think it says something about like my perspective on life and how material things don't need to dominate like my goals and where I'm headed. It's, it's really about like things that are irreplaceable. Like I've got my character intact. I've, I know who I am. I know where I, I like. Like again, I don't want to get into like like religious territory since probably a very small percentage of my fan base consists of that, but. I mean, it's it's not a really about the things on Earth. It's about what matters, what like your impact on this Earth, and really, because I'm trying to make an impact based on like my personality and what I can do to make people happy, while still not trying to like be a people pleaser, but just be someone who cares for people, just wants them to enjoy the day, and hopefully, I can get started because I'm just barely getting started with that, with this whole Let's Play thing. I mean, I do this... I... I kind of, like, would prefer to have subscribers, like, a large number of subscribers, so, like, people could appreciate this, but if... I can do this just to please a f small group of people, and they're, like, thoroughly enjoying this. Like, I don't want to be, like, say, like, I'm the best and I'm full of entertainment, but when I can be... I mean, it's just, it makes me happy to see people's comments and what they think and how I make an impact on their lives. I know I've seen some people say, like, I've, I've really become a part of their routine. I know that you can say that for pretty much any Let's Player, but it's just really inspiring to see that. And But, I mean, this Let's Play thing as a whole, it's just re I'm just really just getting started with, like, my impact on this world. Because this is just like a dimple on the earth when I still need to make a crater in the end. I mean, it's not over. It's not over by a long shot. I still have much to do in this life. This Let's Play thing, it's not going to go on forever. I'm sorry. I don't know how much... What's going to happen to the internet in the future, what's going to happen to YouTube, but... Hopefully these videos will be up for a long time to come, but... I just... It's... My time to shine, and... This... This is just a little glimmer right now of what's to come... In my life. So, now that that's over with, I've talked about that, sorry, it's, I don't, not trying to sound like really deep or anything, but, anyway, yeah, this level, I don't know, I like Christmas, and, but I just, I don't, I don't really get, I'm not a big fan of the snow levels in general in video games, but I, I kind of like this level, and, this level is like the opposite of outside right now, because it's like 90 degrees. And... It, it was 100 in Oregon yesterday. Or, yeah, it was yesterday, but we left that day from the camp, and what the hell? Because... Yeah, I was in Oregon, that's where the camp was. But yeah, let's just go down, because... Oh, and... Oh wait, I don't I don't wanna go down there yet. What am I doing? I got a poke your belly button buttons things that are buttons, not belly buttons. Okay. Getting too close to that thing. But there's something else I wanted to say. It's it had nothing to do with the camp. Well it does a little bit, but that wasn't my control. It was a dream I had last night. You know, I was basically how it relates to the camp is I was basically at the camp doing things with friends again and um, so it, it was, because we stayed at a university, so it was on campus, and we were in dorms, and so there's this, like, one part in the dream 
where it started to seem less like a dream. Like, I started to get suspicious of it, because I... There's this girl that I just, I, like, I just, I'd met her before, like, I went to the camp, but I would first talked to her there at the camp, and in the dream, she was, because we'd, we'd have, like, sessions in the girls' dorm instead of the guys' dorm, it was more roomy there, and, but, like, we wouldn't sleep there, obviously, but, um, so that I, I went to, like, check on some friends, and then the girl there was like, hey, where do you think you're going? Sit down here, it was, but it was like a... It, it wasn't like a you're gonna get a scolding type of sit down here. It was like a hey, I wanna, I want your company right now type of sit down here, and so I got, I got like excited like ooh, girl wants to know me more, and then I, and then I was like in my dream I was like going, I like I had more stuff to do. It felt like I was, like, following the dream's plot, like I had stuff to do, but then I was like, wait, I don't need to do this right now. Like, I was going towards the bathroom, and by the way, there's, in the bathroom, or in the, or I mean, in the dream, the guys and the girls shared the same bathroom, and, like, the toilets wouldn't stay still, like, you'd sit on them, and they'd, like, wobble back and forth and go off of, like, the pipes, but anyway, like, that's how I, like, got suspicious it was a dream. But then I, I was, like, made the decision, like, I don't need to, like, keep... Oh, wait, why am I doing this? I don't need to... I don't need to... Like... Pace this dream out. I can just go sit by the girl right now. And then... So I did that. And... Then some... Other events happened in the dream. And then I got to the point where... By the way, you can swim in this. Forgot to mention that. Just like the swamp water. The guy is okay. Washing machine this... But yeah, I, I, this is where it started to become really weird. Like, I, I woke up, okay, I thought I woke up in the dream, and then I, but I, I was like in my bed, and it felt like I, like, it felt like it wasn't over yet, because it, it wasn't, and I, 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 I was saying to myself, how can I, why does it still feel like I'm sleeping? Maybe if I imagined something. And uh, so I was like, pictured an animal above my head, and then it appeared there, and I was like freaking out. Is I pictured like a primate thing, kind of like an eye eye, but it was like creeping me out. So I decided, I told myself to make it uh, less. I told myself to make it look more, more uh, cuddly. So I did that, and then it became like. Its fur was like more like groomed, and its eyes were happier. So I already did this, and so I did that. And then I, but I still like I wasn't done. I was like, I was like creeped out with my own ability. I wasn't creeped out with the animal anymore. But I was creeped out with my ability to like change it. So I was like, "What are you?" But it was like one of those like screams where you know you're still dreaming because like you can barely talk. It was like. <laughs> And so I was like that, but, and then I, and then I, uh, actually woke up from my dream, but the thing is, in, when I was still dreaming, I, th and when I, when I was still dreaming, but I was like, I thought I was awake, I was laying on the opposite side of my bed that I really do lay on, so it's just a weird little detail, I don't know what it means, but. And then the the re the re real thing that like concerned me was how this whole dream thing and it was all over a period of less than an hour. It was like 40 minutes in the dream itself. Like if I retold it, it was at least 20 minutes long. I could come up with, but because I I have been uh. I have been starting to log my dreams, like, I know I did that in the videos a couple times, but I've been writing them down along, I've been, like, journaling my day throughout, and if I can remember my dreams, I'll write them down at the end, but, because I, I, re I recently read on a study, like, journaling throughout your day, like, helps motivate you, keep you happy and healthy, so I've been doing that, and I've been doing my dreams along with it to back that up, and, uh, as, like, a little side thing, so it's, been interesting. I, at the, when I was at the camp, 
one of my fr I told my one of my friends about that, and he said, "Yeah, that's that's a good way to get like lucid dreaming." And then I realized, like, when I woke up, I thought about that, and it's like, like I d I don't know what a lucid dream actually feels like, but that was probably like the closest thing to a lucid dream I've had because I was actually I've never been able to control my dreams before, and that was like the closest I've got to it. So that's just really bizarre for me. I I. It freaked me out at first when I first woke up because it's kind of like a nightmare and I haven't had a nightmare in a really long time. But the f at the same time, like, I wanted to do it again, but I was, like, scared to. I, like, I'm, I'm almost afraid to, like, write down my dreams again. I'm going to, but it's just really weird. And then when I w fell back asleep, it wasn't a lucid dream anymore. It's, it's, or I don't even know if it was the first time, but it was, it was just, like, a regular dream now. And in that dream, I was just, like, screwing around on... I was making a new custom level for Super Mario 64, but I was, like, doing a really bad job with it, like... Like, I was making the stars way too easy, and the level design wasn't... level design wasn't creative. And... There's this video we... this is... I just... something else I wanted to mention. There's this video we watched... in... The, at the camp. It was, uh, Becoming Sons and Daughters is the name of it. I need to look that up, because... I don't know, it's just really cool stories about, like, how people born with just mothers, no dads, like, found these, like, role models, and were led out of terrible lives, and some of the stories there, I, I was on the verge of tears in that, I was really, I wanted to cry, but I, I didn't, I was like, I gotta, gotta stay strong for mama, even though my mother wasn't there, cause, it's like a youth camp. Yeah, I gotta watch that again, because I wanna... I, w I just wanna let out a good cry. I know that sounds terrible, but... It's just good to... Get some emotion drained out sometimes. So... Oh, what? So I hope you... Haven't, like, tuned out about this, like, kind of... Melodramatic commentary, because... And I just really hope that throughout my life in this little hobby I have, that my wave in the ocean doesn't recede too quickly. And that I can leave a mark and leave the sand wet for people to step in and create new paths in their lives. Bing bang goodbye.